Hey there, my friend designers and creators, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video in this Rive tutorial series. This video is gonna be super short, where basically we're gonna be creating sound effects each time we hit a particular milestone, and we're gonna be using a concept called as events. Should be pretty simple and straightforward. So let me just quickly show you uh, what we're gonna be creating and how this is gonna look. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play this. I've set the final score to be 1000. So I'm gonna press play, and as I hover on it, um, Let's, let's click over here, select, yeah. As I hover on it, um, you know, the button gets active. I press, right? So the sound plays three times every time it hits a particular milestone, right? Uh, let's play that again. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. So let's go ahead and learn to do that. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so to now add sound, we need to use a feature called as events and I don't know why we have to use it. I don't really know the logic. I think that's just how it works. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, what we need to do is decide when this event should be triggered and what should happen when this event is triggered. So if I click over here, you can see that we have something called as an event and I can just go ahead and just, you know, paste it anywhere. Now, this is not really a physical element, so you can paste it wherever you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this to star one, okay? Now, let's define what the event does and then we will figure out how to configure it. So, in the event, so you create something called as an event over here and, uh, or maybe I'm just gonna say star one sound, okay? And I'm gonna come to the type and I'm gonna choose audio, right? Now, if you have a paid plan, you can go ahead and import an audio file, but I obviously don't have a paid plan. So I can use some of the free sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose browse sounds and I actually found one uh, that I like. It's called Bell or something, I guess. Um, or it's called Press X5. So if I play this, right? So something like this. And of course, this is not really a great sound uh, for this animation, but this is all we have. So I'm gonna click here to add that to the group over here. I can click on the plus and we've added it to our audios. Now, if I, I can close this now. I don't want all the entire things. So I just, I don't want the entire five I just want one of it. So if I click over here, select the audio, click over here. What I can do is I can just click over here and then just pick up the entire thing, all right? And then click on plus and I can say created audio clip. So now I just created like an audio clip of that, right? Now what we need to do is we need to click on the event. So if I go here, you can click on the event and then choose the clip that we just made, which is bell service press five clip, right? And now if I play this, um, can I play this? you can see it just does one uh, ding, all right? Now what we can actually do is we can just reuse this one sound and I can just call it star sound for all the three times it happens. We don't need separate, we just need one sound, right? I'm gonna maybe move this over to the side. Now, we need to decide when do we want to trigger this, right? And there are multiple ways of triggering it. Now obviously we want to trigger when it hits the first milestone, second milestone, and the third milestone. All right, so if it hits the first milestone, the sound is gonna happen once. If it hits the second milestone, then we would see two times. And if it hits the third milestone, we would see it hit all the three times, all right? So every time it hits a milestone. So let's go to animate mode over here and we should be able to set this up over here. There are many ways to do this. We can either do this on the progress bar, we can do it at the star, star and dot, it doesn't really matter. The point is to understand that we need to trigger it when something happens. And in this case, we could either do it on the progress bar or the star and dot like I mentioned. I'm gonna to go to the star and dot, all right? Because here I can say, when this starts, I want you to trigger this sound. So this star and dot animation is basically, um, we need to play this. It's basically this, right? So when this first animation starts is when we want to hear the sound. So what I can do is click on this and here we have this thing called events. I can click on that and I can choose the star sound event. And I have two options. I want to trigger this sound either during the start of the uh, animation here, or I can choose it at the end. Now, obviously we want it to be at the start because when this animation starts is when we want the sound to happen. So now let's go ahead and play this. Let's see how this sounds, all right? If I go, and press, if I go ahead and press start, you can see that the sound came. There's another place where we can do it, where we can add it to the transition over here. So let's say I remove it from this and I just play this again. Let's see if it works properly. Okay. Now, if I click on the transition and at the end of this transition, I want to play it. So I can go to uh, events, 
choose a star sound and choose end. At the end of this transition, I want to play the sound. So let's try that again. Right? So either of that works. Now there seems to be a little bit of a hiccup over here. Uh, so if I play this once again, suddenly for some reason, it's just, you know, there's, uh, it's doing a hiccup, but I think that should be fine. We also want that to happen over here when this animation ends and before this thing starts. So I can click on event, trigger the sound again and towards the end and let's do it over here as well. So event just before this starts. So when this transition ends and when just before this starts, we want to do it. So star sound for the transition and at the end. So now if I play this, it should happen three times. Start. So you can see it played three times. Now, let's just check if it works. If I probably set the score to 400, all right, then it wouldn't even cross the first milestone. Right, so no sound. If I choose 650, let's try that again, 650. Yep, it did it once. Let's try 900, it should do it two times. Yeah, so it works, right? So that's basically how you go ahead and set up the sounds. And I'm pretty sure you can link this with haptic feedback as well. And of course you can't do all of that over here in Rive, but you hand this off to developers. Developers have the sound file. You can use any other sound file. You have this event setup, which is going to trigger the sound, right? Because the system doesn't know when it needs to play the sound, right? It doesn't know when the animation ends over here. So we need to fire something called as an event, which basically tells the system, hey, there's a signal, play the sound now. Right, because it doesn't know just by looking at this. It has no clues, right? So we go on to set it. So we have to trigger that sound with an event. So this is about it. This is how you animate everything in Rive. Now in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and go to play and there we're gonna prototype this so that you can actually have it on your mobile phone and interact with it. It's gonna be super fun. We need to do a few tiny changes here before we export it to play. But if you're not interested in play and you're just interested in looking at this animation and understanding how to do it, this is pretty much the end of the course for you. But if you wanna see how I did it in play and prototyped it, you can check out the next video. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. We'll see you guys in the next video. So then take care and goodbye. Thank you.